Hi everyone, my name is Eliza and welcome back to my channel and I am back! Yes, I know I've been posting videos while I was gone, but now I am officially back for you guys and I have been trying to keep up with the commenting that I was not able to do while I was away on my trip in Cuba. So thank you to all who have bared with me about with that. I met amazing people, had amazing food, had amazing experience, and took a lot of photos that I think I'll be able to use for my portfolio. So it was an overall awesome experience, but I thought I should make a overall video for you guys. It probably won't be that long of a video, but then again I might be jinxing it. Just let me know in the comments below if you have any questions that you want me to answer about Cuba or whatever. I mean, I'll still be making, be making a video for you guys, but if you have specific questions, just let me know in the comments below. Now, the next thing I was going to talk to you guys about is one decision that I decided to make, and that is when I do my wrap-up videos, it is going to be just my monthly wrap-up videos. It is not going to be any TBRs because I have realized that each month it just gets to be a lot of pressure for me to finish those books that I had planned on reading and also I've always been the type of person that if I'm in a certain mood then I'll just read this book or that book so it was really hard for me to keep those promises and also I did feel at times that I was repeating stuff over and over I just thought that this would be more beneficial for me and I've seen other booktubers switch over to just doing wrap-ups which I have gotten to that point where I'm going to be switching over to that. So I just thought I should inform you guys about that if you will be wondering why I won't be doing any TBRs. But I will be doing TBRs for, let's say, seasons or if they're themed TBRs or or around that. So now that I've gotten those two things cleared off, now I will be telling you guys what I read in the month of May. I wasn't able to read that much this month because I was away on a trip and I basically went to bed late at night, really didn't get time to read, and then woke up early in the morning to go shooting. So it was really hard for me to read at all. And the only times I did read were on the flights there, which were pretty short flights. But this month I read a total of four books. Technically two books, but four books, and I'll explain why. The first book that I read at the beginning of this month, which I was waiting for for months and months in advance, which was A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. I read this book in a total of two or three days, which is a lot for me, but I had the time because clients weren't giving me any work because I was about to leave for my trip, and so I had so much time on my hands, and I wanted to make sure I read the book and got a review for you guys before I left so it was kind of crazy but essentially what Court of Frost and Starlet was about was basically right after book three so it was a 3.1 book we still follow the characters Ryzen and Feyre and Cassian and Moore and Asriel and all of the characters that you all known to love there is some new information you do get to know about that wasn't explained in the previous books, which don't worry, I'm not giving you any guys spoilers or anything because I understand getting spoiled, so don't worry. There were plenty of Ryzan and Feyre moments in the book, and also I did find that some of the characters' characteristics came out in this book a lot more than we were aware of and I'm not going to say if it was a positive or negative aspect because I don't want to spoil anyone who hasn't even finished A Court of Mist and Fury or A Court of Wings and Ruin. After reading the book, I really thought that this book was basically an interlude. It didn't really have a purpose. It was almost just like wasting time, but wasting time with important information or at least semi-important information that you didn't know about in the previous books that all of a sudden you're like, oh, you didn't know this about what happened in this book or whatever. And then also there was two extra chapters at the end of the book kind of informing you who was gonna be, well, possibly who's gonna be the characters for the next books or, yeah, 
I'll just say that. But all I can say is that I was happy that I read those two chapters after I finished this book series because... That's another time I'll explain that opinion. There are multiple POVs in this book, which was interesting because some of the characters you didn't have a POV of. I'm still borderline on the fence about it. I did enjoy this book, kind of a just using time, per se, with us while we wait for the next book, or if I think there's a 3.2 book, or... Yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, enough of my rambling. I overall gave this book a 3.75 stars on Goodreads. And if you guys want to hear me ramble more about this book with spoiler free or spoilers, I will leave a link below for you guys because I hopefully have more information for you guys. When I filmed it, I was like right after I read the book and so my mind was scrambled and like trying to find information from what I read and it was just like all over the place and also I was trying to film it before I left so it was kind of a little rushed but so yeah if you guys want a more in-depth review go to the link below after this video. The next book that I read in May and that book was I was told to come alone, my journey behind the lines of Jihad by Saw McKennett. Melissa from Honeybee Reads did a buddy swap, book swap with me and so she assigned this book for me. And honestly, I was very, very pleased with this book. Essentially what this book is about is the author Saw McKennett, which I hope I'm saying her name right, I'm probably not. She is a journalist who is Muslim and also a German citizen. Basically, she she talks about her life with her inspiration for becoming a journalist and stories on how she has interviewed some of the top individuals from before anyone really heard about ISIS. She's interviewed people from that or like jihadists and she has so many connections and stories about just trying to get the story out there. This book made me very aware of situations that we aren't necessarily told about on the news or in general. I'm an individual who is always open to hear different stories and opinions and learn about different religions and that's actually one of the reasons why I really enjoy traveling because I just like to be as open-minded and like I said aware as I can be. The stories that this journalist has covered, the way she has acquired some of her stories is just it's just wow like this journalist has gone through so much to get the truth out which I really appreciate I do believe this is the book that people should read to be possibly more aware of situations but I personally felt that this was a very good read and important for other people to read about. My eyes were open definitely with this book and I am so much appreciate that Melissa assigned this book to me. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads and would suggest anyone to read this book. And the two last books that I read, which kind of not books, but kind of, because each one was only eight pages, and they were two excerpts for the next book of the Flame of the Mist series by Renee Ofteen. The first book was the 1.25 book, which was Okami, which is one of the characters from the book series, and the 1.75 book, was Yumi, which is another character in the book series, which I will not say who they are, just for spoilers. The second book in the book series is going to be coming out sometime this year, I think maybe this month? possibly. So I thought I might as well just pick up these two excerpts because one thing they were free on Amazon and two I need to re-remember everything that happened in the previous book and re-remember characters. I gave Okami a 4 out of 5 stars and Yumi a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. If you guys have not read this book series Flame of the Mist and you like Mulan 
I would suggest it. It is supposed to be a Mulan readaptation, and this author has also written the Wrath in the Dawn series as well. And so those were all the books that I finished in May, and currently I started a new book, and that book is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. When I first picked up this audiobook, I actually did not read what it was about because I've had it on my TBR for a while, but I saw that it was available at my library, so I just picked it up. And essentially what this book is about, from what I can tell so far, it is about two characters, and essentially this one girl is new at this school and she needs a seat on the bus. Eventually, this one individual named Park lets her sit next to him. And Eleanor, she has a situation in her life that not is necessarily aware of yet. Her life is not easy at all, and there's some family situations. And so far, this book has been different than what I thought a Rowell book would be. I have read other books by this author before, but they were kind of cutesy contemporary romance type of books. This one, I have a feeling is, but it covers hard situations in life which I feel like not necessarily books cover sometimes. And so I've been really enjoying this book so far and I will definitely be giving you guys a review on this book in my next wrap up video. And those are all the books I am currently reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below what books you guys are reading this month. And also if you have any questions for me to add into my Cuba video video that I'll be making for you guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, just hover on my face and hit subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!